To avenge the destruction of his village, the young warrior received the golden blood of a dragon and was able to take revenge. But many years later, the boy again had to face the dark forces and start a new battle against 46 titan demons trapped in the stones. A couple of honeymooners come to the forest to have a photo shoot near stone idols. While collecting equipment, the photographer doesn't notice the idols collapsing, and the spirits that escaped from them invade the couple, turning them into demon titans. The demon bridegroom attacks the photographer, but at the same second, he is met with retribution from the sword of Van, the demon hunter. The monstrous bride manages to escape. A small monastery learns that the dark forces have awakened. The bishop's assistant informs exorcist Johan about it. The mentor tells the boy a legend about a girl who is destined to save the world from demons and he priest Johan to search for her. Not knowing that she is the one, the chairman of the gallery, Won Miho, makes a presentation to the audience. After the presentation, the girl goes to dinner, but it is overshadowed by an older relative of Miho who wants to get her niece's shares. To realize her plan, the villain arranges a provocation for the girl on the road. News of the chairman's indecent behavior reaches the management, and in order to preserve the image of the company, the girl's father decides to send her to a provincial school located on a small island. Secretary Kong, Won Miho's assistant, flies to the island with her. Arriving at the airport, he distracts the reporters so that the girl can get into the car, but in the car park, she is met with a demon bride. The monster tries to destroy the girl. The creature is very agile and Mai Ho has to flee. The bride breaks through the walls and her hand reaches for the victim. But suddenly Vaughn appears in the car park. The hunter eliminates the demon bride and opens the truck in which Won Miho is hiding. Looking at the girl, Vaughn recognizes her, but the frightened lady does not understand anything. Miho regains consciousness already in the room and Secretary Kang tells her that she was found unconscious. Van visits his old friend and tells her about the return of the girl who is supposed to save the world. The guy is mentally transported back to the time when he survived a demon attack and found himself in the house of an old sorcerer who dreamed of creating a great demon hunter. The old man injected Van with golden demon blood under his skin, making the lad and his friend immortal half-human half-demons so they could stop evil. But red-hot gold wasn't enough. To create real warriors, the old man put the boys in the prison of his home, and that's where Van saw her for the first time. One Miho starts work at the school. To celebrate, the girl is going to a restaurant, but on the way, Miho learns that Secretary Kang betrayed her. He was an accomplice to the crooks on the road. Unwilling to forgive the betrayal, the girl leaves on foot at night, not knowing that at that moment, Kang is possessed by a demon. The monster catches up with the girl, and she does not have the strength to cope. Vaughn comes to Miho's rescue again. Many years ago, the girl also rescued Vaughn and his friend. Secretly, she let the captives go, but when she saw her friend getting sick from his bite, the guy came back to save her life. On the bishop's orders, Johan flies to the island. He meets with mentor Miho, who knows about the real origin of the girl. Meanwhile, Vaughn continues to fight the demon, covering the terrified victim with himself. When it's all over, the girl books a plane to return home. At the same time, an unknown old man awakens a demon who becomes possessed by an airport worker. When she arrives at the airport, Miho finds out that she has been asked to wait in the office for someone to come and pick her up. It is there that she is found by a demon who easily gets rid of his colleagues so that he can't be disturbed. The girl is lucky again. She manages to run out and gets to the car park and steals a car. The creature doesn't stop it. Having caught on, it tries to get the girl on the move. Miho tries to hide in the ruins, but nothing works. The girl is trapped, and it seems that there is no escape. Van comes to the rescue again. He fights with the monster and the demon is defeated. But this time, Miho decides to find out what is going on, and she floods the guy with questions. Van's answers confuse the girl even more. He only talks about fate, and that demons will get their victims anywhere in the world. Johan explores the places where the battle was recently fought in search of a stone hill, which Van makes out of stone remnants of demons. Meanwhile, the hunter visits his old mentor again, but her granddaughter, Yomji, doesn't like the guest eating their food and the guy has to leave. At night, Miho can't sleep and suddenly Van appears in her room. He comes to tell the girl about demons and how they will haunt her for the rest of her life, and Miho asks the guest to become her bodyguard. The girl quickly draws up a contract, but Van refuses to sign it and agrees to stay only one night so that Miho can sleep in peace. 
Waking up in the morning, the businesswoman notices the signed contract on the table. From that moment, Miho feels safe, not knowing that Van recalls a terrible moment from their past life, when half of the demon in him won and he destroyed his girlfriend. An old woman tells her granddaughter about Penjul, a spirit that lonely women pray to. Meanwhile, Miho goes to work accompanied by a new security guard, who is acting a little strange. During Miho's first lesson, Yomji brazenly leaves class to visit her friend. The girl arrives at her classmate's house and finds her with marks of blows from her boyfriend's hands. To help Sujin, Yomji goes to her teacher for help, but Miho sends her to the police, not wanting to get involved in other people's problems. That same night, Sujin goes to the penjul tree and performs a magical ritual, not realizing that she has awakened a major demon by doing so. Mentor finally introduces Miho to Johan, and Van joins the company. The exorcist looks at the half-demon with interest, but the men fail to become friends despite their common goal of protecting one Miho. Now the girl is accompanied to work by two bodyguards at once, but on the way, Van orders Miho to stop. Leaving her with Johan, the hunter goes into the forest. Near the school, the pair are met by Yomji, who tells the teacher about what happened to her friend. After a ritual, Sujin lost her mouth. The girl leads Miho and Johan to Sujin's house. At the same time, Van finds a crater from which a demon has escaped, and the hunter's dagger senses the presence of dark forces. Once in Su Jin's room, the couple doesn't notice anything strange, but as soon as the exorcist approaches, the girl has a seizure, and the priest begins the exorcism ritual. But it turns out to be a trap for Miho. The main villain appears behind Van's back to get rid of the nuisance and finish off the girl. The villain who released the demons turns out to be an old friend of the hunter. Gung Tan, who chose the side of darkness many years ago. The former friends managed to talk after meeting in the dungeon where they spent their childhood. Looking at the familiar walls, Gung Tan convinces Van to join him in order to avenge the people for their suffering. Not accepting the demon's offer, Van enters the battle to protect Miho, who is about to be hunted by the villain, but the half-demon forces prove to be equal and Van returns home without victory. After telling Johan about Gung Tan's plans, Van asks the guy to protect Wan Miho while he continues his demon hunt. This is exactly what the villain wanted. While Van tries to exorcise the demons from the humans, the spirit of a young girl lures Miho out of the room and the girl goes to meet the danger. This allows the dark forces to suggest to Miho that the old assistant is hiding something from her, and after checking the drawings in his wardrobe, the girl learns the truth about her origins, that she was born as Wonjong several hundred years ago, and her job is to save the world from demons. Van makes it back in time to exorcise the demon that was about to strike Miho. It seems like it's all behind us, but Gung Tan appears in the room. Learning that the girl has regained her memory, he rushes to get rid of her, but Van covers Miho with his body and the pair fall off the balcony together. Hiding in a cave on the shore, Miho builds a fire and crouches next to her bodyguard, thanking him for saving her. Van wakes up and sees Miho, who has regained her memory and realizes what she must do to create a protective barrier. An overconfident priest bursts in on Gungtan, and a fight breaks out between the men. But the exorcist is too weak, and after finishing him off, the half-demon forces Yomji's grandmother to tell him the truth about a prophecy that tells him where the rest of the stone idols are hidden to unleash evil. After covering Miho with a protective wall, Van goes in search of Johan and finds the guy badly injured. He's going to track down Gungtan to finally destroy him, but that's when the half-demon opens the gate for evil. The villain's lair turns out to be empty. While Van searches for Gungtang, Miho's mentor also prepares to face the demon. The girl herself tries to track down Van, but in his abode she encounters monstrous titans who try to destroy the savior of the world. Van appears on the battlefield, and the girlfriend asks him to hold off his old friend so she can climb the mountain and create a protective barrier. Even Johan, who has been unconscious all this time, manages to help his friends. The heroes bravely fight the monsters, while Miho creates a defense. Everyone who died at the hands of the demon comes to the girl's aid. Johan holds Gungtan back with his last strength, and Wonmiho manages to finally create a barrier. But Van stops her friend by reminding her that when the defense is built, they will all disappear. To save her friend, Van transfers his powers to her, and the girl finishes the shield. At this time, Van goes down to her opponent to deliver the final blow and leave this world with him. Wonmiho manages to win. All the demons come together to disappear. 
Jungtan and Van shatter into millions of shards and fall to the ground in fiery sparks. Wan Miho returns to her usual life in the city, unaware that the demon messengers have found a new way to bring back evil. The girl realizes this when she sees Van's dagger shake, 